from the region with a congressional delegation. Representative Peter Welsh is a Democrat from Vermont and the Chief Deputy Whip, and he joins us now live from Washington. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, Martin. Having just visited the region with, I believe, Majority Leader Eric Cantor and other colleagues, is the President right in asserting that regime change in Syria is something that America and indeed other international partners should be striving for? Yes. I mean, when you have a leader of a country literally using military forces to kill citizens who are in peaceful demonstrations, that's a leader that's lost any confidence, in, not only among his people, uh, but in the international community. And another delicate matter in the region, as you know, Iranian relations. What did you learn about Iran as you toured in that region of the world? Well, we were in uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Turkey, uh, uh, Qatar. If I may uh, say so, you look as though you've got some color on your skin <laughs> from that trip. Well, the sun does shine a little brighter there it does. Uh, this time of year. Uh, and also the United Arab Emirates. And two things I'd say. Number one, there's broad consensus that the world is going to be a much better and safer place if Iran desists from pursuing its nuclear ambitions. Uh, nuclearized Iran is very dangerous to the region. It's perceived as such. Even by countries like Turkey that are somewhat more sympathetic to Iran than we are. But secondly, the enthusiasm for a military option is much more muted in that region than it is here in Washington, uh, and with good reason. I mean, Turkey, for instance, uh, has a large Muslim population. What are the consequences of a military strike by Israel or the U.S.? They depend on natural gas from uh, Iran in order to heat their homes in the winter. Uh, Qatar, which has an enormous amount of wealth, uh, is only 50 miles across the Strait of Hormuz and fears that it would be the first to be attacked in any kind of retaliation. It also shares an oil, uh, a natural gas field with, uh, with Iran. So there is support and sympathy for taking strong actions in the sanctions regime to try to affect Iranian behavior. There's a lot less enthusiasm for talking about a military option there than there seems to be here. And that sounds remarkable, Mr. Welsh, because if you listen to the Republican candidates, they appear to be saying the direct opposite. You've been in the region and you hear contiguous nations saying we don't want to have a military conflict, and yet we hear Republican candidates saying things like, let's take military action against Iran. Well, see, that's the thing that actually I think all of us should worry about. You know, in the Iran war, or in, the, in the war in Iraq and in Afghanistan, Vermonters paid the biggest price, the largest per capita loss of troops of any state in the country. So these are consequential decisions. They get politicized here in Washington, and it becomes a one-upsmanship deal. Who can have the strongest sanctions, independent of whether they'll work or not, and what the consequences are here, and who's willing to pull the, uh, the military uh, trigger sooner rather than later. That's for domestic political debate here. Here, but it's a dangerous debate. This is a very volatile situation. There's danger in inaction. It's not good if Iran gets a nuclear weapon. It is not good, but it's not a simple solution when even military advisors say that a military strike in these uh, underground silos would be ineffective and at best slow but not stop the nuclear program and would unleash these unknown consequences in the region. So it's very, very dangerous. We should be a step at a time. We should be doing everything we can to work with our allies over there. And finally, and very quickly, sir, welcome back. But you were welcome back by the lowest approval ratings for some time. A, a whopping 13 percent of American people think Congress is being effective and approves of what you're doing. Can you change that this year? Well, we've managed to exceed expectations uh, on how bad. <laughs> and let's hope that we can disappoint uh, this year. I'll do my best. Congressman Peter Welsh, thanks so much. Thank you. And we'll be right back.